Oh boy. What'd you do to your head? Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks a little painful. Okay. Um, when did this happen? A day ago? Okay. And, um, why are you coming in now? Hmm. Insurance, yeah. Yep, yep. Understandable. Okay. Let's see. Bring up your file. Can you start off by giving me your name and date of birth? Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, so, um, first off, I'm just gonna ask you a bunch of questions that, um, hopefully you can answer. So, um, what is today's date? Yep, yep. Have you had any, um, nausea or vomiting? A little nauseous? Okay. Um, have you been experiencing any headaches or, like, pressure in your head? Okay. Have you been experiencing any, um, balancing problems? Any, like, clumsiness? Clumsier than usual. Okay. Have you been bothered by any light or noise? Okay. The very loud noises have been bothering you in the last 24 hours. Okay. Any confusion? Has there been anything lately that you haven't been able to remember? Um, do you know exactly what happened? How you fell? Okay. You remember all your loved ones and friends and all that? Okay. That, that's good. Okay. I think those are all the important questions right now. I'm going to get up close, okay? My little magnifying glass here, too. I'm going to just inspect your wound. Okay. Kind of a bright light. Okay. Is it sensitive when I touch near it? Yes. It is pretty deep, but I don't think you're going to need stitches. It doesn't look super big. I think you're okay there. Okay. That's, I mean, it's still a pretty serious cut, but... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to check your blood pressure, okay? Okay. Give me your arm. Roll your sleeve up. Okay. 
I'm doing okay. Blood pressure is a little high, but kind of understandable. So you shouldn't feel anything after I put that on. I'll probably prescribe you some medicine that you can take orally as well, okay? So I'm going to take a um I'm gonna cleanse the wound first, okay? So I'm just going to put a couple drops on your head here. And try not to um let it drip down your face. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be as gentle as I possibly can. That's going to sting a little bit. I apologize, but we have to make sure it's um clean and so you don't get a um, infection okay okay you're still holding up okay good Put this cream on, okay? I'm trying to be very, very gentle. You might feel a sudden, like, warm sensation putting this on, but. Give it a couple minutes and um, you shouldn't feel a thing. Checking, make sure that there's no dirt or anything in it. You said you did bang your head on the ground, right? Okay. Yeah, don't want to. Um, don't want to get dirty. I'm a dirty cut. It looks like there isn't any dirt or anything in the wound. I did put that ointment, so and cleanser on. Let me just Your vision was a little blurry, so 
I'm going to do a quick little eye test and I'm going to check your pupils, okay? Make sure I'm spawning the light okay and everything. Okay, um, look at my nose. Keep staring straight at my nose. at my nose. Okay. Pupil dilation seems to be healthy, normal. Probably about a five in dilation, which is average. Okay, now I'm just going to move the light across your eyes. You can still keep staring straight at my nose or just pick any point behind me, anywhere on the wall, an object. Just keep staring straight on whatever you choose to look at. Apologize, it's a little bright, so okay. Now can you stare directly at my finger and can you follow my finger with your eyes? Try not to move your head, okay? Stare directly at my finger. Just follow it. I'm gonna get closer with the light. Just follow my finger. Any trouble moving your eyes at all? Any trouble focusing on my finger? simple eye chart here, and um, I want you to focus on the big E, okay? Focus on the big E. And I'm gonna get really close. Focus on the big E. Keep focusing. Good, good. Okay, so what is the smallest line you can read on this chart? Seven? Why don't you, um, give me a read? Good. Good. You aced it. Can you try reading line eight? Just give it a shot. Okay, okay. That is an E, not an R. But good job, you missed just that one little letter. Can you tell me what colors you see here? Green and red, good, good. So your color hasn't been affected. I'd be surprised some people, um... Some people lose their eyesight. Totally, when they have some pretty serious concussions. Um, but you passed with flying colors on your little assessments here, so you don't need an x ray or any of the sorts. So, um, you did say you were a little nauseous. Um, 
disconcerting a little bit, but uh, possibly. How are you with pain? Not the greatest. Okay. That's fine. A lot of us are not the same way. So your nausea is probably from the pain you've been experiencing in the last 24 hours. So, um, by the looks of everything, you're good to go home. I did send in a prescription. You still use the pharmacy right in town, right? Okay, that's what we had on file last. So, I sent that straight in. I gave you a pain reliever and a ointment I want you to put on your wound three times a day for the next two weeks, okay? And then you can probably go down to once a day, every day, okay? Until it's, yeah, until it's fully healed. Okay, well, um, that prescription is sent right in, so you can probably head over, right over now and pick it up. You might have to wait a little bit for it, but not too long. Okay. Well, um, I hope you're feeling better, and, um, I hope that wound heals better and you're not left with, like, a gnarly scar or anything, okay? Okay. Have a good rest of your day.